watch that uh, Manti Teo uh, documentary? I did. Manti Teo. Um, he has a new series that was released on Netflix. Well, I take that back. It wasn't his series. He was just an episode of the series. The series is called Untold. And the episode name, if you want to go watch it, is... Um, what is it? The Fake Girlfriend? Yeah, well, I think it's what it is. is a, it's a documentary that's just uh, split up into two episodes. Right, of him. But they have other... Yeah. They have other stories they're going to talk about. Oh, do they? Okay, I didn't know that. My bad. See, I was trying to act smart, and I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah, it's like a thing. They have different episodes that are going to come out with... I forgot who else is on it. I think Kobe Bryant is going to do... Have one episode, and... Okay. That could be wrong, but... Is that... Are they going to talk about... (laughs) Are they going to talk about the helicopter, or are they going to talk about the ring? His last days. Okay. So the helicopter. Yeah. Gotcha. But Manti Teo was first up, and he had his episode about the oh. fake girlfriend. Boy, did he have an episode. My and God. What an exhausting... First of all, it was an hour... I think the first episode was like an hour and a half, and then the, the, the second episode was like another 40 minutes, and Jesus Christ. That is two hours of just mind fuckery. Well, they had to tell you the whole story. I get it. They did, and they did a good job of that. We'll say that. Yeah, they they had to fill you in on who he was as a child, um, how he came. They had to tell you the the fake girlfriend's backstory. Uh, of course, they did. of them. He, at the time, he. Now he's not a he, but that's another story in itself. <laughs> at the time he was doing this to like other people and then as soon as it would get to the point where they were going to meet th- he would break it off yeah he said he would it would get to the yeah just like you said it would get to the point where they meet and he'd break it off and then he said he would feel numb and then to 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 fill that numbness he would like move on to the to the next dude so it's yeah. like a like a vampire or like a succubus. Yeah. Well, succubuses are, are actually women. Oh, well, there you go. So the whole casing of this was... Mancubus. This person was ruining people's lives. Well, well see, I, I don't guess think he, he was ruining anybody's life until he got to Manti. Like, if, if you... Because this motherfucker convinced him to, to go to... Or to withdraw from the... Uh, his junior year, he was going to go to the NFL draft, but then he convinced him not to. He's like, no, 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 stay. And um, cost him millions of dollars. And then, you know, when he played the national championship, he, who knows if if that, if that he would have played well, if it would have made any difference, but it certainly didn't help. Well, that's when all, the whole thing broke. Right, but I mean, so, I'm just well, saying, this dude cost Manti Teo a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's when that's when the whole thing was breaking, that, oh, this person is fake. So, and then now they're questioning, oh, did he do, did he make this all up just to, just to get into the Heisman Trophy talk? Which, I don't, I wouldn't see him as, I don't know, He's a smart guy, obviously. Mm-hmm. He got, you know, but I wouldn't see him smart enough to say, "Oh, if I can make this story up, I can get to the get to the Heisman Trophy talk if I play well." Because he was already going to be a first round pick, maybe even mm-hmm. a number 1 overall pick as they were saying. Right. So yeah, it just didn't make sense that he would give all that up well, to make up the story to come back and make a greater like what's he gonna do get pick double number one or something? Well, unfortunately, it does <laughs> it does make sense that um, somebody would make something like that up because people have done stuff like that. Maybe not to the extent of like a fake girlfriend or not this exact story, but 
Like remember that um, there's a lineman that uh, made up a story about Oregon recruiting him or some shit. And he like he held a he held a press conference at his high school and did the little hat thing, and then like <laughs> Oregon came out the next day like I don't we don't know who the fuck this guy is. Oh no. So I know it's like I would have been really mad like you made me drive all the way to the school on a day off. Watch you put on a stupid hat for nothing. Yeah, to make yourself feel better, and that's what that person was—the person who catfished Manti Tail. They're just trying to make themselves feel better. Oh Not my once God. did they show remorse to the whole thing. It was no. all about how how it made them feel. This creature is working at like some fucking Samoan dollar store, just with with his head held high, and just just the amount of the lives that he ruined because not only did he he uh, ruined Manti's life but that uh, the actual girl um, that he used at the pictures like she became semi-famous because her, yeah, she got know, her image was all over the too. place right there's just so many people impacted didn't think about all that yeah probably didn't care I'm but, gonna say um, didn't care I, I will say like what because I remember when the story came out I, I and I I believe I acted just like the rest of the <laughs> the country did like uh, how'd you fall for a fake girlfriend blah 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 I will say the the thought of him being gay or not never once entered my mind nor did I care I mean I didn't I don't know I. I understood how he could fall f- for a fake girl. Like, yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, maybe. I've I've catfished my fair share of people <laughs> in my lifetime. Well, that's so. the thing. He, he tried to make it sound like it was a new thing. Like, come on, dudes have been pretending they were something else or somebody else since the internet started. Since before well, the internet. The term, started. the term wasn't there. So the actions were there. It was the term. That's when they were like. Oh, you got you got catfish. Like, what is that? Because it wasn't around. Still, you got hustled. That's been around. You got played. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. They got it's catfish now. You got to, you know. But I will new say, term, the dude, new new show. If if you were to get played, you got played by the right dude because that guy had had voice changers and had connections to the real person. Like he got that girl to. To post for, with the initials and the hand gesture, that was like that was some specific shit. And that was after she died. Yeah, <laughs> she died and he called. That's the thing. Like he, and I, <laughs> he would uh, he would break off with Manti and then like just keep coming back. Like every time Manti would like go like do his own thing, like he kept Renai. That was his name, Renai Tuiasa Sopo. Who was a cousin of Marquis to Asasopo. There you go. Who was a Raiders quarterback. There's actually For a lot of... Time. Was it a short time? I felt like it was a, quite a while. Eh. He didn't really, like, make a big impact. He's probably like, yeah, I mean, we're a distant, distant cousin. Like, we barely talk, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, every once in a while, you know, that kind of, that kind of cousin. Yeah. But, yeah, this guy is something else. Yeah. And I going back to um, the chick posing for the photo, mm. I was wondering when I saw the photo, I was like, now nah, how did he pull this off? Right. Oh, <laughs> man. He, he's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, con artistry at his best right there. Well, and Manti said, like, he, he talked to his friends because they were they thought he was talking about the real girl, which is so fucked up, like, that all these people who happen to, happen to know that same girl. It must have been a really small town or something. But, like, he well, asked yeah. his friends, and then, like, that picture happened. So, like, you know, initially, like I said, when it first came out, you know, first impressions is this guy's a fucking idiot. But then, like, once you get into the meat and potatoes of everything, you're like, oh, shit. I, if you're going to get conned, you got conned by somebody yeah. really, really dedicated. 
Yeah, and, it was, and again, it was the perfect storm because they were close enough to the person to to be able to prove it just enough. And then they were talking on the phone, and it would sound like a girl. Yeah, well, what got me was the um, uh, the the fake car accident and um, the you know the quote unquote brother letting him listen to her breathe and talk, and then like saying that oh the doctor came in and said whoever's on the phone gave her the most response that she's ever had like that's so fucked up yeah and there was so she's playing like multiple roles in this whole thing (laughs) and the thing is she's laughing about it the whole time like she doesn't there's not one one shed tear not she she brushes it off she excuses it like oh but it made me happy which is just what William Thomas said when he was swimming. Yeah. Like, it made me happy. Like, And that, that reminds me of a, a Simpsons episode where um, this uh, motivational speaker comes into town and uh, Bart Simpson just so happens to be there and uh, the, the motivational speaker says something like, a uh, person doing, and then Bart immediately gets up and says, a person going. And it, like it spins off into this thing where the motivational speaker kind of leads everybody in Springfield to just kind of do whatever they want, and you know do what makes them happy because you know that's best way to be and blah 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 blah. So of course when everybody does what they want, everybody's just an asshole and it sucks for everybody else. So I mean, the the point is if you do stuff just to make yourself happy at the expense of somebody else, it's not the right path to go. It just leads to yeah. chaos. Yeah, you should probably think about the other persons that are going to be involved. I mean, do if you're going to do something to make yourself happy, do it by yourself. Don't involve people. Right. Don't involve people. 